hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'll be showing us how to draw the fibonacci retracement on binance and this is actually my binance interface so i'm going to click on this button to look at my charts I'm going to look at the chart of STG USDT. So with it, I will know how to place my Fibonacci retracement. Well, this is actually an interesting tool that is employed by traders to spot support and resistance levels. So if you want to really spot support and resistance levels, on your chart you can actually use this tool it's a very good tool this is actually my 15 minutes time frame let me change to four hours one thing you need to know about fibonacci well i'm not going to focus on the settings for now but to draw your fibonacci on binance i'm going to use my 30 minutes time frame i'm using it because if i place on the smaller time frame it will reflect well on the higher time frame than when i place on the smaller or the higher time frame if i place the fibonacci levels on the higher time frame it will be difficult to visualize the lines on the smaller time frame so i'm going to click on this icon here this one these two arrows facing to opposite direction this one i'm going to click on it to rotate my screen in the market trend now the market trend to me is that of an uptrend so i'll be drawing from my lowest level here to my highest level so i'm going to click on this so when i click on it i can see different two trend lines parallel lines and all of that so i'm going to click on the fourth one here which is the fibonacci tool so when i click on it you can see it's being displayed on my screen so like i said i spotted the direction of the trend which is an uptrend so i'm going to draw from the lowest point to the highest point so you can see and then i'm going to adjust it by clicking at this point here when i click on it i can place it very well Well, when you just move it like this, you can actually move it. But when you click at this point here, showing this dot, I'll be able to adjust it. And you can see by my top right here that I can see the point at which I want to place it. So I've placed that one. I'm going to do that. Same thing for this one. So I'm going to click on this point as well to place it properly. I can see by my top left here that the chart has been zoomed so I can place it very well. You can see, you can see the different support and resistances that this has helped us to spot out. So you can use this as entry and exit level for your trades if it breaks beyond a support level you should know that you should be selling the market and if it breaks above resistance level you should be buying the market so this is how to use fibonacci retracement tool if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel thank you